reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely, that the mystery was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The Word of the Lord. Our second reading for this Sunday, the Solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord, comes from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Now, we have been reflecting on how the light of God shining in Israel is not meant for Israel alone. That light is for all the nations to see. And we said that that light is Jesus himself. This is affirmed by the second reading. St. Paul addresses the Gentiles, the Ephesians to be specific. They do not belong to Israel, to the original Israel. But St. Paul tells them that in Jesus Christ, these so-called pagans, Gentiles, outsiders to the faith of Israel, have seen the light. The light now is being shared with the Gentiles. How? In Jesus Christ. So we can say, the prophecy of Isaiah is now fulfilled. St. Paul is claiming that what the prophets of old had seen and had declared has become true, has become a reality in Jesus. But the light of God has become a person. It is Jesus who is the light of God and now is the light of all the nations. Now you will say, where do we see that? Where do we see this fulfillment of the prophecy of Isaiah as claimed by St. Paul? St. Paul is saying it is a reality in the church, the body of Christ. For the followers of Christ, those who form His body, His community of disciples, they come not only from the chosen people Israel, but they come from the so-called Gentile world. You have the Greeks, you have the Romans, you have the Ephesians, the Thessalonians, the Philippians, and to our time, we have Filipinos, Europeans, Americans, Africans, Australians, we who do not belong by race and originally by faith to the old Israel. But we have seen the light of Christ. The light of Christ has been shared with us. We have followed that light. We have accepted Him as the light of our lives. We have recognized God the glory of God, the face of God in Jesus. And we have come to receive Him, to receive Him in faith. We have come to offer ourselves. That's what faith is all about. We have offered our lives to Him. That's why we form as a community His body. Now, St. Paul is claiming that the vision of Isaiah is fulfilled in the church. The church, which is the new Israel, made up of Jews and Gentiles. And in this new community, the barriers that used to separate peoples from one another have all fallen down. They have crumbled because we have seen our common light, Jesus Christ. We are heirs to the light of Christ, shining first of all through the people Israel and now shining in the church. My dear brothers and sisters, in the Christian faith, 
First of all, we should thank God for making us sharers in the vocation of Israel. Now that vocation is ours as church. And so the question is, are we faithful to that vocation? If Israel was supposed to shed the light of Christ to all the nations, now the church must bear that light of Christ to the whole of humanity and the whole of creation. Are we doing that? Do people see the light of Christ in our being truthful, being just, in being loving, merciful, and compassionate the way Jesus was? Do they see in us heirs of the glory of God because we are adopted children in Jesus Christ? Let the epiphany of the light and the glory of God continue in our times through us, members of the body of Christ, the church.